What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, yesterday, we got some interesting, shocking, breaking news as three time junior middleweight, now undisputed junior middleweight world champion, superstar Bassa, who is top five pound for pound best fighters in the world, and Jamel Iron Man Charlo, who is 35 wins, one loss, one draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, 5 foot 11 and a half with a 73 inch arm each. He was chosen as the next opponent for four division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who currently is the undisputed super middleweight world champion and widely considered by many to be the face of the sport of boxing in Saul Canelo Alvarez, who is 59 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout. He is 32 going on 33 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. Now, this is going to take place September 30th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. It's shocking news because everybody expected Canelo Alvarez to face Jamel Charles' identical twin brother, who is an undefeated two division world champion, the reigning WBC middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, and Jamal Lions only Charlo. Jamal Charlo is 32 wins, no loss, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, six feet tall with a 74 inch army. So he's a half inch taller than Jamel and has a half inch army advantage over Jamel Charlo. With that said, it was shocked the world that it's going to be Jamel Charlo, right? And Jamel Charlo has a mandatory and the WBO mandatory an Australian superstar title contender junior middleweight in Tim Zhu okay and Tim Zhu is not happy at all he's 23 wins no losses no draw 17 wins by way of knockout he is 28 years of age five foot eight and a half for the 72 inch armage Tim Zhu and Jamel Charlo was scheduled to face off against one another March March 12th okay but Jamel Charlo broke his right hand leading up into that fight and Jamel Charlo, he was pulled out the fight, obviously, and had to rehab his hand, his hand injury. So Tim Zhu, he went on and fought a former foe of Jamel Charlo and former world champion, the man that gave Jamel Charlo his only loss, and former WBC junior middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Tony the Tiger Harrison, to which he beat Tony Harrison via ninth round knockout victory. Then to stay active because Jamel Charlo simply was not ready, uh, he this this past um, June 18th of this year, he fought against Carlos Ocampo and knocked him out in the first round. So he's staying extremely active en route to getting his opportunity to fight Jamel Charlo. And then this breaking news comes and Jamel Charlo is now going to fight Canelo Alvarez. So with that said, Tim Zhu is not happy, as you see. And Tim Zhu is now saying that, you know, Jamel Charlo is in the same boat as Canelo Alvarez stating that, you know, uh, we know Canelo Alvarez has a big fight right in his own division that he has been maneuvering, strategically maneuvering around. And that's former two time undefeated WBC super middleweight world champion, Mexican Ecuadorian superstar boxer, David, the Mexican monster Benavidez, who is 27 wins, no loss, no draw, 23 big wins by way of knockout. He is 26 years of age, six foot two with a 75 inch arm reach. And everybody knows that Canelo Alvarez is strategically maneuvering around fighting uh, David Benavidez. And so Tim Zhu, he's saying that he is now the new David Benavidez as Jamel Charlo is avoiding him uh, to fight Canelo Alvarez. So he's saying that, you know, Jamel Charlo is ducking him the same way Canelo Alvarez is ducking um, uh, David Benavidez. So that's what you know, uh, Tim Zhu is stating, which is completely incorrect. And to say that incorrect is an understatement because uh, Tim Zhu is not viewed in the same light as David Benavidez, not at this second. Now he has some big knockouts and he has, you know, um, making himself known in the sport of boxing and everybody's taking notice of Tim Zhu for sure. But David Benavidez has been the best fighter in his division for quite some time. He was the best fighter in his division before Canelo Alvarez even decided that he was going to campaign at 168 pounds. David Benavidez was always viewed as the best super middleweight in the world 
and he just wasn't getting his opportunity. He lost his belts twice, once or, uh, outside the ring due to recreational drug use, and the second time due to uh, losing a belt on a scale. So David Benavidez has never lost his title in the ring. And the flip side of this, you're not ducking Tim Zhu to fight Canelo Alvarez. That is not a duck. Actually, that is a tougher fight for Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo, the deck is going to be stacked against him as Canelo Alvarez is the clear A side, and he's going to call the shots. He's going to want the ring his size, the gloves his size, and the weight class. Jamel Charlo is going to be jumping up two weight classes. So he's going to be at a disadvantage, and Canelo Alvarez is far more proven than Tim Zhu has ever been okay uh, nobody is confusing Tim Zhu now he has plenty of potential plenty of upside but nobody's confusing Tim Zhu with Canelo Alvarez right Canelo Alvarez is a top five top ten pound for pound best fight in the world he's a four division champion and he's the undisputed super middleweight world champion okay so with that said nobody's confusing uh, Tim Zhu with uh, Jamel Ch uh, excuse me with Canelo Alvarez and saying that it's a tougher fight Tim Zhu presents a threat to uh, Jamel Charlo. He's talented, but not w what the threat that Canelo Alvarez presents to uh, 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 Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is a completely different animal who's way more proven than Tim Zhu. So it, to say that you are ducking me to fight, you know, uh, Can uh, Canelo Alvarez is absurd. Now, on the flip side of that, David Benavidez, he can say, to uh, Canelo Alvarez, you avoided me to fight Jamel Charlo because Jamel Charlo is a junior middleweight, okay? Uh, he's going to be moving up two weight classes to fight Canelo Alvarez, and David Benavidez is right in the division. Uh, Jamel Charlo has lost before. He has a draw on his resume. Uh, David Benavidez has never lost. He's never lost his title in the scale. Uh, I mean, excuse me, in the ring. Uh, he's never lost in the ring at all, and he's a super middleweight, okay? So he fights in a division that, you know, um, he fights in a division that Canelo Alvarez campaigns in. So it's a completely different uh, scenario in comparison. You just can't compare the two, right? Uh, so uh, Tim Zhu is salty right now, as I expect him to be, because he wants his opportunity. Tim Zhu, he wants to, you know, prove to the world uh, that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Tim Zhu, he wants to uh, be a world champion, and he was on the cups. If Jamel Charlo didn't hurt his hand, he would have already fought Jamel Charlo, and right now, either he would have been, um, you know, rematching Jamel Charlo if he would have beat him, or Jamel Charlo would have already beaten him and boom, mo been moving up, but he would have got his opportunity to fight for a world title. So I understand his frustration, but to try and compare his situation to that of David Benavidez is just simply non-comparable. You just can't compare the two, right? Uh, and again, uh, Tim Zhu is now going to be playing the waiting game because we don't know if Jamel Charlo is going to vacate his titles. We don't know uh, if he wins the belt uh, beats Canelo Alvarez. I highly doubt that Jamel Charlo is coming back down to 154. He goes up to 168. Uh, win, lose, or draw. I don't believe that he'll come back down to 154. I believe that uh, he beats Canelo Alvarez. I think that it's more likely that he'll go down to 160 or he'll stay at 68 and defend his titles. But he'll be a, a two-division undisputed world champion, right? And uh, I just highly doubt at 33... He comes back down to 54. Now, prior to this, Jamel Charlo did state he was going to be a career junior middleweight. But this opportunity was an opportunity Jamel Charlo just simply could not turn down. So, Tim Zhu, unfortunately, this is the business of boxing, the sport of boxing. It's unfortunate for him. But he's going to have to play the waiting game now. He's going to have to wait and see how this unfolds. He's going to have to, you know, uh, fight other fighters in the meantime. You know, uh, he's already done that. He's already fought Tony Harrison, Carlos Ocampo. He had two major fights already. Uh, um, stay, well, two not, not two major fights, but two stay busy fights to stay active while waiting for Jamel Charlo. And then, unfortunately, Jamel Charlo goes in a different direction. And Tim Zhu has to wait because Jamel Charlo holds all the belts. And there's no decision made. We don't know if Jamel Charlo is going to vacate the belt. So it's just unfortunate uh, um, the way the dominoes have felt, fell for Tim Zhu in this situation. And now Tim Zhu, you know, uh, uh, has to look at other opponents and other avenues because Canelo Alvarez, Jamel Charlo not fighting until September 30th. So even if Jamel Charlo wanted to entertain coming back down to fight Tim Zhu at 154, 
Well, that won't happen until at least January of next year. So that means Tim Zhu is going to have to find another opponent. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But Tim Zhu comparing himself to David Benavidez is absurd. It's not the same situation. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D B C shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Is Tim Zoo right? Let me know.